What's up, family? It's your girl Sylvia back with another video um, about um, Fun Day at Sea. On um, yesterday, we went to Princess K's, um, but the islanders call it Princess Keys. So I just want to come back to you for another fun video just to tell you a few more tips about what to do on your next Caribbean vacation, some tips and tricks that you might want to incorporate on your next fun day. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is Carnival's private island, Princess Keys or Princess Keys. It really is a nice island, but that's basically all it is. It's just um, a beach. So um, just look for it to be just a beach day. Carnival takes the food from the ship out to um, the island to feed the people for lunch. I necessarily wouldn't advise it. I mean, it was fine and everything, but the flies are ridiculous. It, when I tell you I was, I did get a hot dog and I was gonna try some jerk chicken. When I tell you they, the flies was fighting me like a swarm. It was really, really ridiculous how bad the flies are. So I would advise you before you, um, if you're gonna take um, this con Carnival Liberty, um, or a carnival trip and they're going to the Bahamas and Princess Keys or Princess K's, I would advise you just eat before you leave or eat when you get back um, because I wouldn't I wouldn't advise you to fight all the flies. But the, the flies were just ridiculous um, how you couldn't even eat a bite of food for the flies were trying to fly in your mouth. It was just that bad. The very next thing I'm gonna talk about is our, our dining last night. It was, uh, we've been in a doing dining room. Well, have, we've done some buffet, but we've been doing dining room um, every night. What I really didn't know y'all when I first started cruising is that I thought it was just the elegant night you did the dining room. I didn't have, a, have no clue this is me, just not knowing. Didn't know that you could do the dining room every night. And so when I learned that you could do the dining room every night, that's what we've been doing every night. And I didn't know that you can get more than one entree. So if you wanted the chicken and the fish or the steak and the and the um, um, lobster or the steak, and then and last night I, I think I had, I, I think it was like bass and shrimp or something like that. You can get more, if you wanted the three entrees, if you like the shrimp, like you said, I like the, that shrimp dish, Tell them you want another one. You, I mean, you can you can get as much as you want in the dining room if you want to. Um, a lot of things that my husband didn't know is a lot of things are free, but a lot of things are not free. So you need to be asking. So some things in the dining room that they're trying to sell you are not free. Um, like some of the wines and the drinks and things like that. Um, you have to you either have to buy a drink package, which we didn't, and. Uh, you, you have to you have to know what you're doing because at the end of the day, this is the next tip. So at the end of the day, you are going to get a bill for gratuity. So this is my next tip for you. On the day before, on this C day, go down to guest services and tell them that you want to take the gratuity off of your bill. Take the gratuity off of your room and tell them that you're going to leave a tip inside of the room. If not, you can, you're not going to be able to get off the ship unless you pay your gratuities. So tell them to take it off. And then do actually, just what you're going to do, do actually leave a tip inside of the room. But you need to do that on the sea day or um, the day before. Some people do it as soon as they get on the ship and they say, well, listen, I don't want to pay any gratuities. I'm going to leave my tip in the room. Because these people are working for tips. Your room steward. All the people in the restaurants, everybody everywhere, all the drink people, they're working for tips and they if you don't tell them, they will have you will have a bill at the end of um end of your trip. The next thing I wanna talk about is when we um de embark on tomorrow, you have two choices. You can either keep your bags with you or you can give them to them tonight after you pack up everything. Make sure you take out some clothes though, because you know that has happened before. The people leave their bags on the island outside and forgot to get their clothes that they were gonna wear the next day. So either either put your bags on the outside on tonight or you can keep the bags with you. So when you disembark, you can just go straight to your vehicle, straight to your Uber or whatever. So we've had an uh, awesome time. I think we. I think my husband has really enjoyed. We're getting ready to go to Sea Day brunch. 
Uh, I've heard all about C-Day Brunch, so we're getting ready to do that in a few minutes, and we'll catch you guys on tomorrow on Disembarkment Day. Love you guys. See you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for my next awesome, awesome video. Love you guys.